I'm making this video today to hopefully help you speed up with your own audio recordings and video recordings you're making for lessons virtually online. This video will be split up into two main parts. The first main part will be recording tips and how to speed up your actual recording process to make the raw video itself. And the second part will be video editing tips on how you can make your editing process a little bit faster. I've included timestamps of everything that's happening inside this video down below in the YouTube description. So if you want to get a table of contents and click through parts uh, to get through things a little bit faster, you can look down in the description and click on any of those uh, timestamps to be able to automatically jump to that point in this video. Now when it comes to the first part, one of the quickest ways you can actually make your editing process faster is by improving your recording process. And the first tip I have is that you should record everything all in one go. So if I make a mistake, oftentimes I will just take a pause and I'll leave a blank audio line like that in my clip. But if I do make a mistake and I, I, I mess up on my words or I say something incorrectly, I'll just leave a blank pause in the video. And that's really important. You'll see when we get into the editing as to how that can help speed things up. Uh, the second big tip I have is if you're recording something on an iPad and you're doing like screen recording on that, you should take that airdrop to your computer because that'll make editing a lot faster. So that's kind of the really big tip for actually recording the video. Now when it comes to actually editing the video, here's uh, some things that can help you out, at least on a Mac OS computer. So we're going to, to do some editing on iMovie. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project. We're going to make a new movie. Default, I can import the media, find where my video was, and import the selected video. Now that the video is here, this is just my project, it's not actually on my timeline where I can actually edit things, so I have to drag this in to my timeline itself. And I can zoom in by holding Command Plus so that I can see things a little bit better. As you can see, I've got the video here at the top and on the bottom is where my audio sections are. And if you'll notice, there are silent sections and that's where I made a mistake when I was doing my recording. So oftentimes I'll get back to the start and notice that there's, there's nothing here. So there's no audio peaks here. So I can simply move my mouse to the left hand side and I can drag it in a little bit shorter up to where my audio actually starts, right about there, and I'll click play, and I'm going to listen to a short piece to see when my next thing comes up. Oftentimes I'll just skip ahead, and I'll notice that this whole section right here was actually an entire mistake. So what I like to do is I will move my playhead there, I'll hold command B, it will split the clip where my play bar is, I'll move over here again, command B, I'll split my clip where that is, and I will just delete that clip. So when I click play, it'll actually clip, move forward, or make it look like it's actually a, a well put together piece. That's all I'm doing. I'm just clicking at little points, listening, going back, listening to the start of the clip, going to the next one. So that's really the fastest way to edit all your videos. Leave some blank space. You're going to make mistakes. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to edit up this video and clear off all the pieces that don't make sense. So now that I've gone through and I have uh, edited and clipped everything up, that's it. Typically I would save it here now. If you want to get a little fancier, you're welcome to add in some audio for background music if you want to. Uh, typically I go to the YouTube Creator Studio and throw something in. Uh, again, you can just drag and drop it in. Uh, but that's not at all necessary. You can add in some titles, so if you want to let your students know what this is, all I have to do is just drag one in. I've got a title here now, and I can just say, Volkaroo audio recordings. So when I play that, you'll see a nice title, ready to go, so students know what it is that it is you're looking at. Now when I'm ready to save this, um, this isn't actually saved or exported yet. The last thing I have to do is come up, click this square, click it and save it as a file. You could also upload to YouTube right away. I'm going to save it as a file for this point. We'll save this as our Volkaroo audio recording. and that is it. We'll save that to our downloads folder. And you can see this little pie chart that's going to show up here. Uh, this is the actual rendering process. So your video has to save itself. So it's going to save itself up here. Once this pie chart has loaded all the way up to the top, um, your video will be finished. You'll see it's starting to actually cut in here. So if you look, it's going to say exporting my movie was successful. I can click show and it will show that ready to go right here. 
in wherever it was that I saved. So now I can upload this to YouTube, I can put it on Google Drive, wherever it is that I store my videos. So those are my quick tips for recording and editing videos. Just review, recording tips, record everything all in one go. Leave some dead audio space when you're recording so you can go back and easily find where you should split clips and where you should add them back in. And then when you're editing, whatever editing um, software you use, iMovie, Premiere Pro, whatever it is, iMovie is really easy. Command B or split the clip where those dead audio silences are. Watch your video through. Because video editing does not have to be perfect. When you're recording something, you can easily make those, split those clips and cut everything up into easy, manageable bite chunks. And that should hopefully speed recording up for you quite immensely.